Hey everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And I always like to say where I'm at when I do my videos because it also reminds me where I'm at because I do travel a lot. I travel every week as of the last six months. So I'm here in my patio space, which is my favorite place in my home. And I am leaving back to Las Vegas tomorrow morning, but I had some time and I wanted to go ahead and sit down with you guys and share my top 10 series cactus edition, which I've been wanting to do for a while. My top 10 series is subgrouped into houseplants, succulents, and cactus because my collection is 200 plus I do not want to just do only 10 because my collection is so big I do want to highlight each and every one of them but I will try to do the top 10 series it may be three or four times a year I love sharing with you guys my top 10 plants because it's constantly changing and it also kind of sees like what type of plants that a person is into and their style and I also get to give you guys ideas on how I style my plants and hope to inspire you. So in no particular order, I just pretty much grabbed random 10 babies. They're all on the side of me and we're gonna discuss them one at a time. Now out of every type of plant that I do have, cactus, succulents, and house plants, for some reason I am not good at cactus names. They're probably the hardest ones for me to educate myself on and get to know all of the different variations. There's so many different types of species that I'm not really good at it. So also this helps me to get to know their names too. So if I don't know any of them offhand, I'll try my best to research the name and add it in so you can go ahead and also know what type of plant I'm talking about. And maybe if I don't know, you can let me know in the comments below. And you guys always seem to help me out if I don't know the particular name of the baby that I have, which I just love my green community here on the internet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about them one at a time. So the first baby I wanna highlight is this guy here. And I love the cactus family because they are just, they come in all different shapes and sizes and you'll see in today's video, some of them are prickly, some of them are soft and cute, and this is one of them. So this guy is a starfish cactus. Now this is my first one, and it hasn't bloomed on me yet, but I've seen pictures all over the internet on what it looks like, and I'm waiting for it to give me a nice bloom. I know they are stinky blooms, but they're definitely beautiful and interesting, and I think that's one thing I'm attracted to cactus is because they look very interesting and weird and then they randomly give you a beautiful bloom out of nowhere i think that is so rad so this one here is on the soft side Look on the edges here it has just some nice different edges here and i love the different textures and dimension that it has here's the top point of view here and what i love about this guy is that it's definitely different from everything else i have which is so cool I think it's doing great in my collection. If you take a look here, I see a little bit of growth happening. So I know it's doing good. And for whatever reason, maybe I might have to switch it up and try and find the best place where it can get full sun. And maybe it'll give me a bloom one day. I also think that it is maybe not a matured cactus baby. Maybe it's still in its younger years. Um, I had this for i want to say a couple of months i got this guy i believe from i want to say pasadena roseville flea market i got it for a few dollars so maybe it needs to mature more on me in order to produce a bloom um and i know it loves lots of sun so i don't know it's living in the back portion here on my patio which gets sun throughout the day maybe i might have to switch it up and put it in the front of my house i will let you guys know if and when it ever does give me a bloom but these cactus blooms they just kind of sneak up on you it's very like unexpected when it happens and i'll talk about that with another baby but sound off below let me know if you have the starfish cactus I also i'm curious to know if it bloomed on you how often has it bloomed on you and um, any tips on how to get it to bloom but I definitely think it needs more sun I'm thinking and maybe mature a little so this is the first baby of today's episode so here's a guy that I don't know I don't know who he is I want to say he's a euphorbia I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of research to find out I'm sure one of you plant nerds out there can help me out but here's its current situation 
I've had this guy for a pretty good minute. He was probably one of my first cactus babies in my new collection. I just have it like in a white terracotta planter, which I think I got from Home Goods Las Vegas. And this thing is just so interesting to me because it's wide and it also has like a fair amount of thickness to it. Um, I try to not even really deal with this guy if I don't have to because of all of the little pricks on here. This is one guy that you want to just kind of plant and not have to replant it unless it outgrows its planter, which I'm hoping it doesn't because it's kind of like fit. It kind of fits right there with the width of this planter. I've had this thing for over a year. I want to say it's a slow grower because it kind of looks the same, but I'm pretty sure it grew on me. Let me know if you guys have this cactus. How big is it? Um, it is on my medium size type. I think it's a medium size baby for me. You'll see when in a little bit my bigger pieces. But I love having this one in my collection. And it's just very interesting to look at. And if you see on the top portion here, I just love the different variation and depth to it that's underneath the pokies, uh, which gives it like kind of like a brainy type look. But I think it's a nice conversational piece. This would also work as even like a statement cactus if you had one by itself. This would be a good one maybe on a table. Um, but I have this in my plant gang in the front of my space with the rest of majority of where my cactus baby lives. So I wanted to give a shout out to him. He's definitely unique and interesting with his shape. Up next is another show-stopping cactus baby. I have another one in my Las Vegas collection that my mom gave me. I loved it so much that I wanted to find another one and have it in my collection here in Santa Monica. So this guy is a fairy castle cactus. Say that like 10 times. Yes, it's a tongue twister. I have it in a terracotta short fern planter. And this baby, I think it probably cost me under $7 or so. I can't, I can't remember where exactly I got this guy. I want to say that I got it in Las Vegas recently. I know this year, I think I got it in Las Vegas for a couple of dollars. But I love this thing. If you look on here, it's kind of like gathered up really close-knit together. And then I just love the little dotted edges where the pokies, those little pokies comes out. And I also love just the design and texture to it, how the little spines creates little dots up and, and it's kind of like rigid too. So it has an interesting shape to it. And I just love the little baby clusters if you look on the bottom. But this is also one piece that i would suggest if you wanted one cactus this is a great one to have just kind of sitting alone i can kind of maybe imagine this maybe um somewhere in your kitchen or maybe on your coffee table or on a bookshelf i think this would do really good if you're looking for just one uh, but it's very interesting how it's all clustered together and all the little baby growths but I love this guy and I know a bunch of you guys enjoyed it as well when I shared it on my plant haul in Las Vegas months back. And I, you know, for some people it's hard to come across this baby. So if you find one and you're into growing a collection um, and looking for a new cactus baby, I highly recommend this one. And as far as for how I take care of my cactus, I do water them maybe once every other week and they do get a misting every week and so far so good so this is one baby that i just adore looking at when i enter my house in the front i absolutely love this thing this is a very fragile cactus to replant so if you get this guy i don't recommend shifting it to another planter if you don't have to i have it in a thrifted planter that i got in the bay area a couple years back from my favorite animal thrift shop in the peninsula and i love the vibe of this if you look at it it looks like little balls clustered up together and they're very fragile so if you touch them they will fall apart so i had it in here for i think i want to say maybe this is the second time i ever shifted into a different planter and i think it's because i love the aesthetic of the short wide planter with this aesthetic of plant so i think the reason why i moved it was because i wanted to pair it in this particular planter i will not move it for a good minute if i have to i will only because it outgrew this but i don't think so it is kind of a slow grower i don't see much growth to it but if you take a look really really good 
you can see a little bit of fuzzy type of characteristic to it under the spines i just think it's adorable if i had a coffee table that i wanted one accent piece on it and i dealt and, and it was a space that i didn't have a lot of light i would consider putting this baby there or even like on a shelf if you had a shelf maybe behind your bed i think this is a really cute one to have so this guy lives behind me on my plant shelfie and i just love and adore this guy i had it for over a year and i think i got it from las vegas for a couple of dollars i just think a variegated cactus is a showstopper and i think it's so rad to see a cactus variegated my collection of house plants has a fair amount of variegation in it now as far as for my cactus babies not so much i think this is probably maybe my one and only variegated cactus but i can't say so because my collection is so big but off the top of my head when i think variegated cactus i think of this guy it also does come in all green which i have not picked up yet but I am in love with this guy. I got it for a few dollars and actually like I held off buying him for a good minute. I've been eyeing it out in Las Vegas for over a year and I finally got this guy recently and I want to say I got him for three dollars. But take a look at it. Now as you see there is little growth on the top here on the soft side and then if you pay attention to it really good there's big pricklies on it kind of spaced out here and there so it does give me like weird quirky vibes this definitely gives me like halloween vibes um because it's very interesting and weird so if you're looking for like a weird interesting statement cactus this one might be for you and i love the fact that it's variegated and i have it in an ice cream planter and this guy lives in the front of my house and i just love it so much there's another guy that i do not know the name of which is very unfortunate. I want to say it's a euphorbia. I know a chunk of my cactus collection is euphorbia. So I want to say this is a euphorbia. I'm going to have to do some research on this when I um, go ahead and edit this video. But if you do know the name of this cactus, let me know down in the comments below. If you look here, there is like a little bit of variegation happening. And I want to say that if I do touch it, it'll leave a print so i'm not going to touch this thing it's living in an ikea planter it's been in this thing for all of its entire life i believe i got this guy from las vegas for a couple of dollars and if you see from the size of my hand it is pretty big i love this guy because of the smooth textures to it and then it has like random spines here on a scalloped edge so i just love the dimension of this plant and i love the chunkiness of it I'm kind of interested to see what it's gonna look like in a year. I purchased this plant. I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't think ever. I might be wrong. I might be right. But it's definitely not a common cactus to me. Um, so I had to go ahead and highlight this baby for this episode of Top 10 Cactus Edition. Very interesting piece to have. Guys, Okay, so now I have four more babies left. I just don't know which direction to go to because I love them all. These are my bigger pieces. So this is probably one of my favorite euphorbias. I don't want to say that, but I've had this guy in my collection for over a hot minute. Over a year, definitely. And probably almost about two years now. It's grown tremendously on me. I have it in a Tiffany blue teacup that Kira gifted me. And I love this thing. Now I'm going to give it a spin so you can see. I don't know if I'm going to transplant this guy. I feel like it's time, but not really. Maybe in another year or maybe in the summer next year, I might put it in a different planter. But so far, so good. As you can see, there is lots of new growth. If you see those babies here. And I want to say if I wanted to propagate this thing, it would propagate on me really easy but i just don't want to touch it i've worked so hard to get it this big and i absolutely love this thing as you can see there is a little variegation to it but it's just very interesting it's one of those cactus pieces that i've had from the start of my new collection i'm kind of attached to this guy just because i've seen it grown on me tremendously i think when i originally got it maybe it was this small and then all of this here is just new growth so i'll not be low if you have this guy i think i probably paid i want to say eight dollars for him originally 
in Las Vegas and it lives also in the front of my house and I absolutely love him. Such a rad piece to have. And if you're looking for a cactus baby and don't want a big collection like mine and maybe looking for one or two, I highly suggest this guy just because it's such a show-stopping type of cactus, especially with the height and dimension to it. Very so, stunning. I know I shared this guy in my pot of fame for October, but I had to highlight it in the top 10 cactus edition because I just can't pass this up. This is my Euphorbia cuttings that I got from Tanya. It is stunning, it is amazing, it is big, and I absolutely love this guy. As you can see, there's like little blooms about to happen here. If you take a look on the top, you see that light neon green, and that is all new growth. This thing is big, as you can tell from me. It's definitely a statement piece. If you watch my Meet My Platform episode featuring Tanya, you've seen her big mother cactus in the front of her cactus yard of her house. It is sunny. It is big. It is way taller than her. And she was so, so nice to be able to give me a bunch. And I was able to give a bunch of my friends cactus babies too. So I love being able to share with my friends and help them grow their collection. So Tanya, thank you so much for being so generous when it comes to plant cuttings. Like I honestly, like Tanya's amazing. And I wanna give a big shout out to her because a bunch of my big cactus babies actually came from her. And she's not very much big into houseplants, so I'm like really happy I was able to give her a bunch of houseplants cuttings. I'll have to go by her house and check on her and her collection. But I couldn't pass up these guys and featuring them in today's episode. So, two more to go. I am going to highlight this guy right here. So this is my Eve's Needle. It makes it for today's top 10 episode. Why? Because of all of its new growth. All of this right here is new growth. When I originally got this for $8 at the Pasadena Rose Bowl, I love how like I randomly pick babies from the Pasadena Rose Bowl. I need to go back. It's just that I'm traveling every weekend and I'm not here. But the next time I'm ever here on a second Sunday of the month, I am heading there. And I know you guys enjoy watching those come with me's. I love to go to different cities and go into their flea markets and whatnot. But this is where I got this baby. And I think a bunch of my favorite plants came from the Rose Bowl flea market. So here it is. I have it in a Walmart planter. As you can see, compared to me, it is tall. It is big. And the fact that it grew all that new top growth for me, I'll bring it up close so you can see. Here it is. Uh, yeah, it is a fast grower. It is so cute. I love how it's like soft here for the most part. Up close you can see like there's little pricks here and then down here it's just, well, it's all scary down here. So how did I replant this baby? I wrapped it in a towel and I put it into this planter and it's going to stay there for the rest of its life. I don't think I want to move this thing ever into a bigger planter. Um, but yeah, if you pick up a very prickly piece, wrap it in a towel if the pricklies are hard like this definitely not the small fine ones i do not like dealing with those types of babies because they get in my skin but yeah wrap a towel in this guy and replant him into a planter that you think you're not gonna have to take him out for the rest of its life like this guy here and this lives in the front of my house as well i also do have a crested eaves needle which also lives in the front of my house it's on the small side i want to say it's as big as my palm maybe a little bit bigger but the eaves needle that is long and cylindrical um, is a fast grower, at least for me. And it's definitely an interesting quirky piece, but I love looking at it because it's just so different from everything else I have. So I could not pass up today's episode and not share my favorite cactus in my whole collection. I don't know if you guys know, but it is the Rick Rack cactus. There's two that I have. I'm gonna share the second version that I do have. And it's this one here. I got this from downtown LA and I actually put it into the planter that originally my little totem pole cactus cuttings were in, but my grandma killed one of them and I just took it all out and now they're just hanging out in nursery planters until they grow roots. So I ended up putting my Rick Rack cactus in here and it's doing good. If you take a look here, there's lots of new growth. 
and it's just such a stunning piece to have very interesting the texture the design of the plant too is very interesting what do you guys think now the interesting thing is is that when you get it from different vendors and growers plants kind of look a little different even if it's the same plant now if you take a look here you can see the texture of it and just the thickness of it it's on the thin side this has never bloomed on me but since i've had this it, there is tons of growth so i know it's happy and i'll share with you in a second my my original variation of this plant so yeah here's the new growth and i have it in a planter which i believe i got from home goods las vegas i'm gonna set this down and show you my original rickrack cactus so here it is so here is my other rickrack cactus this is my original one as you can see it's a little bit more on the hardier side this thing has bloomed on me twice i shared it on my pot of fame october edition so here are the dead blooms i'm just gonna leave it as is and then maybe when i go around and prune my plants if it's still here i'll go ahead and prune it off a lot of new growth on this guy here so there is new growth here if you can see nice shiny and new so this is the third bloom which i'm hoping to capture while i'm here because the two that died i seen it like this and then it bloomed on me while i was away over the weekend and these blooms do not last long i am very upset that i missed its first two blooms but it's giving me another third baby bloom i'm hoping that i'll be here when it blooms um, so that i can go ahead and get a nice photo of it and also experience my bloom live instead of past dead um, this thing is such a grower i've actually shared a bunch of my plant friends babies from here and i recently propagated a cutting off of it you've seen it in my recent planting with julian i just wanted to do an experiment so this is easy to propagate in water if you're looking to make more babies speaking of babies i do have more babies of my rickrack cactus up for sale so if you're interested in purchasing a rooted baby from me reach out to me in planting with julian on instagram and i love to be able to um, have you have one of them if you are living in the united states you're more than welcome to purchase plants from me a bunch of you already did i love seeing your pictures i've shared a bunch of them on a recent planting with julian and speaking of which, I wanted to go ahead and do another giveaway. Since I did a giveaway for the Succulent Edition Top 10 series, I want to do it again this time for this video, doing a giveaway with some of my favorite cactus babies that didn't make it in today's video, unfortunately. So in today's giveaway, and the rules apply for all of my giveaways, you must be subscribed to both my channels, my main channel, I love Julin, my vlog channel, Miss Julin. And you must also be following me on both of my Instagram. My main Instagram account is underscore I love Julin. And my new plant Instagram is planting with Julin. So you must be subscribed to both of my channels, be following both of my Instagram accounts, leave a comment down below. What is your favorite cactus and the city you live in? So this is what is going to be up for this giveaway. There's four different babies. All of them didn't get to make it in today's video, but I love them and they're a big part of my plant heart. So this baby is rooted. I've been propagating him for a while. This is off of my big rabbit's ear cactus that Tanya gave me over a year ago. This is a grower. As you can see, all of its roots, it's been propagating now, I want to say for a month in dirt. So I have this guy. The next one I want to give, and I've talked about it before, is my totem pole cactus. This one is for you guys, so it will also be in this giveaway. It's one of the babies that I propagated in Arizona, so I have this one as well in the giveaway. I also have the night blooming cactus cutting from Tanya, and this has been sitting in dirt as well. This one does root, but very, very slow. It will root because mines are all rooted this this one hasn't rooted yet but it will and this is also part of the giveaway and the last guy in today's giveaway is going to be a prickly pear cutting and this is from my big mother plant in arizona so, so you'll be getting four cuttings in the giveaway and i don't want to prick myself all right 
So these are the four babies that you will be getting. The totem pole cactus, the rabbit ear cactus, the night blooming cactus, and the prickly pear. They will be up for grass to people who follow the rules and participate. Stay tuned because I will be doing a reveal on my Planting with Julian merchandise that my grandma and I have been working really hard on and I'll be doing a giveaway that is going to be worldwide to launch that. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below. The giveaway will be open for one week from the date I post this video. I'll be picking a winner, reaching out to you in the comments below and also direct message on Planting with Julian Instagram. If you want to see more videos like this, if you're new, welcome. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I do an upload. I like to share videos at least five days a week no matter where I am. And that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite baby in today's episode. Do you have any of them? Stay tuned because I will be doing this series again probably at the beginning of next year when I'm back from North Africa. I will be in Egypt in January and I'm so excited. Who knows? I may do some Planting with Julian episodes out there. Some Come With Me videos. Really excited about that. And that's about it. You can find me more on Instagram at Planting with Julian and underscore Ilo Julian. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Welcome. You can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica. Bye.